Hey y'all, this is my friend Lexi and today we are doing a short schnauzer pet trim that respects the owner's wishes but does maintain the integrity of the breed. So let's dive in. I can't stress the importance of good thorough prep work enough so please don't skimp on it. It will make a world of difference in the finish you get. We all know how this goes so I'll tell you a little bit more about me. I'm Ginger McPherson. I am a national certified master groomer and I live in Houston, Texas and own and operate Makeover Rover Mobile Pet Grooming. I've been grooming for 16 years. I've been mobile for four of those almost and it's a whole different adventure but I love it. Exactly 0% of the dogs I groom daily are currently being shown or are in show trims. So I just wanted to make this video to show it's possible to adhere to breed standard with pet trims or at least as closely as you can and just to be able to give short trim style. So not everything has to be a shave down in the summertime. If you're getting requests for shave downs all the time and wacky patterns, don't be afraid to make suggestions to your clients. Sometimes they ask for those things because that's all another groomer has ever offered them. And the worst they can say is no. Open communication with your client is so important because at the end of the day, dog grooming is a partnership with them. Excellent shake, Lexi. Truly excellent. Now I'm going to put our tarot zoom mousse in her furnishings, her beard, and her brows just so after she dries she has a little more volume. Next, dry the coat in the direction you want it to lay. I stood in front of my camera for about 95% of this video, but you get the gist, brush up and out and follow through with a comb after. Next, I'm going to use my number one half inch comb on my bravura to knock off some of the length on her furnishings. Just straight down to the floor on those legs. And I'm going all the way underneath this dog towards the opposite side. It is all coming off. Just leave your tuck up alone. And with this gal, I'm using a 10. I typically would not go that short, but they would want me to use a 40 if I could. I would typically use a shorter guard comb on my pet schnauzers. But hey, that's compromise. When clipping the sides, I do roll the skin to the opposite side so I get a nicer finish. And we're going to skim off the elbow into the leg. We're going to show off that spring of rib. We're leaving our tuck up and we're exposing the thigh. Now we're going to card her. Please pause to read the description of why it's important. The gist is better color, better texture, healthier skin. Now I'm going to lightly scoop out her eyes with a 15. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outside of her ears. Just kind of hold it flat against your hand. I know it's a little scary sometimes, especially if the ears are cropped, but you get the hang of it. Now I'm going to be using my Brav Mini to clip the insides of the ears and to detail the edges of the ear leather. When I do that, I just rest my finger against it and let the blade bump into my finger so I know I'm not risking accidentally nicking the dog. It's scary at first, but it's so easy and it looks super crisp. Now with a 10, I am clipping from the corner of the eye to the corner of the ear to clean off those cheeks and from the whisker nodule underneath down the throat. Miniature schnauzers are not babies and they do not have a bib, so don't be afraid to go all the way down that chest when you're skimming off. It's a little scary, I know. Recording isn't my strong suit and I'm about to get in my own way a bunch, so just bear with me. We are trimming the feet at an angle so the hocks look well let down. The feet are trimmed tight and round so they appear up on their toes. We're going to comb all that up and out. And I'm using straight chunkers and just blending those transition areas. That way when it's viewed from the rear, 
you don't see a difference. Everything looks nice and streamlined and straight to the floor. Just gonna clean up the tuck up and the underline. Notice that did not say skirt. Schnauzers do not have one. They should only have enough of an underline to accentuate the depth of the chest. Schnauzers should appear to be up on their toes and ready to go to ground or go after mailmen or Amazon drivers, whatever they're doing or want to do. But this lady has weak pasterns, so her feet always look really long and flat. So unless I had a lot more furnishings to work with, I wouldn't be able to give that illusion. So it doesn't quite work with her. We're just trying to get as close to straight column legs as we can. Next, comb out your clipper work. Take thinners and lay them right on the skull. Just clean all that up and blend it. You should not notice a transition and nothing bushy should stick out. These parents like everything about her face short, so this does not adhere to breed standard. I clean it up, I make it nice and round, clean up her mouth, and she gets short little brows. I spray my comb with eye groom boost it to give some hold. Now I'm going to lay my shears flat against the side of the skull and trim off everything that hangs over. And last we're just going to neaten up her stop area with thinners so it's not so blunt and severe looking. And there you have it folks. Here's everything I used for the entire process so if you want to know what something was, just pause and take a gander. I really hope this has helped anyone, and if it helped you or you learned something new, please share.